So many of our kids on adoption and permanency journeys have experienced early life adversity in the form of trauma and loss and live every day just under the surface of their skin with its impact. And as an adoptive mother myself, I saw and felt the impacts of this without understanding for a long time what I was seeing and what my kids were really experiencing. Many years after I first adopted, I started learning about what we call developmental trauma or toxic stress, early life adversity, and trauma that can have a long-term impact on the brain and the body's development. Finally, the pieces started fitting together for me. What I used to see as somewhat difficult or challenging behaviors, I began to learn to see them for what they truly were, stress responses. I loved the idea of being a part of the brain lab. Really, the brain story illustrates the impacts, makes it easier for parents and caregivers and others to understand why kids might be acting and thinking and feeling the way that they are. It also, very importantly to the ACO, illustrates the power and the importance of stability and connected relationships. So I really wanted to bring this knowledge to other families and professionals in, in Ontario. We decided to create a three-part webinar. Part one explains the science. Part two talks about how healing can happen through adoption and permanency relationships. And in part three, we try to illustrate what it looks like to be a healing parent. We've offered the webinar now several times and what is fascinating and wonderful is that they fill to capacity each and every time. We have found that people are very thirsty for this knowledge and we get feedback almost immediately that light bulbs are going off, things are making sense finally, and dots are being connected in people's lives both from the perspective of understanding their kids better, but also understanding themselves better. I came to this work after we adopted our daughter eight years ago at age 17. And learning about the impact of trauma and loss on brain development has made me a better parent to all of my children, homegrown and adopted. When kids feel, truly feel that somebody gets them, it makes a world of difference. Our kids don't need fixing. It's the system and the adults around them that do. And the brain story is helping make that happen. Mm -hmm.